Personally, it was a very important、uh, movie at that time because I had moved away and retired from the film business for about three, four, four years. Police Story Three: Super Cop was my first comeback, so it was important to remind my audiences, "Hey, I'm still here, and hey, I'm I'm still, you know, what what you loved before." <laughs> And then I was getting to work with Stanley Chong, the director, who I met when he was a stunt man. And so he came to me and said, "I have a Jackie Chan movie, and I want you to be part of it, like his counterpart." Okay, it was like playing with James Bond opposite them as their equal. That was a very huge statement on every level for me. It was a great privilege for the women. It was like, yes. <laughs> I will never be crazy enough to do to do those stunts again. Well, we did have an accident, but I was fortunate. I came out of it not hurt. We don't really rehearse our big scenes. If you're going to do it, you might as well shoot it. Right? So let's not waste it. So I get up on the truck, dodging the bullets, rolling off the van, and I go off the van. And Jackie pulls up in his. Little convertible, and I land on his bonnet. I crash the windscreen, which saves my fall, and then I roll off his car. And I go, "Oh, that looks okay. I can just, you know, roll down." And then you're standing up there, and you go like, "Oh, this feels a little different. Way it's not staying still." And then his car is not staying still either. Everything is moving. And I remember in my head, I went, "Well, I'm never gonna know until I try it, right?" So I took the roll. Everything went wrong. The windscreen did not shatter. The things that were supposed to make it go, it didn't. So Jackie couldn't get a handle on me. When you look, watch the outtakes. He scrambled over the windscreen and tried to hold on to me. Luckily, he he grabbed onto a bit of my shirt as I was sliding off the car. He saved me, I think, my life. Shh, but don't tell him that. And as I rolled off, if He didn't give me that little extra jerk. I could, I would have landed on my head first, and that would have been the disaster of my life. You know the saying: when you fall off the horse, you have to get back right on. For me, at that moment, was like, I know what I didn't do right. Now I know the feeling. Let's do it. Try and catch it this time. Suddenly, when you be Jackie, it's okay, it's okay. She said it's okay. Get back in the car. <laughs> so we turned around and we did it. In the next take, that was crazy, but you know, don't do it. <laughs> so at that time, I did take more risks than usual, like you know, hanging on the van. I think someone took the wrong turn, and that's why the car suddenly swerved so so hard, and you see me literally go sideways like that. That was not choreographed. That was an accident. <laughs> Jackie was the one who had a bigger problem. He actually came up to me at one stage and he says, "Michelle, are you trying to kill me?" And I'm like, "No. Why would I do that? We're buddies, right?" And he goes, "No, because I was doing this crazy motorcycle stunt, right?" When he saw me do that stunt, he was like, "Oh no! If you do anything more than that, where am I going to come from?" <laughs> That's why he did the helicopter stunt. It's not fair for me to suddenly go, nah, 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 "Look at me." <laughs> So we had to have a little bit of a balance, and I think we managed to 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 do that quite well at the end of the day. So that's why we're still great friends.